Howdy folks, it's uh, Nick here, looking at a ZX Spectrum game, a second outing of the day. Uh, unless you want a bit of a binge watch, then it might be the upteenth one, so thank you there. This one we're looking at is Desperado, published by Toposoft in 1987. They're a Spanish outfit. This game is based on the arcade cabinet Gunsmoke from Capcom in 85, a continually scrolling vertical shooter. Now we um, must go down as a, well, a lone vigilante, taking out, well, the whole town and then getting the reward of this guy or woman that appears in the right column. So it's stage by stage, also come out in the Amstrad CBC, so there's the first villain, he looks pretty nasty. Uh, come out in the Commodore 64 and the NES as well. The only other gun smoke conversion we've looked at was Outlaw, which by a player's premiere, which come out three years after this one. And this immediately looks a little bit better because we've got a double shooter and it moves a little bit quicker. So we're going through this Wild West town, we're going to take out everyone that attacks us, What's up with these guys? They don't look like, um, they don't look like uh, cowboys. They look like um, non out of Superman 2. Anyway, um, we've got a limited amount of lives. We get hit by a bullet, which are quite hard to see because they're yellow on yellow. If we lose all three lives, represented by our hats in the top left, in, gr in the top right, I should say, in green, then we'll have another go with infinite um, uh, lives. Now, I think the problem of this game is going to be, it moves a little bit slow compared to the likes of Commando and such, but I don't find it too bad to begin with. The graphics are nice and detailed. I think people coming at you from behind could be an issue. You can't go down, because um, as I say, the screen's continually scrolling. Well, you can go a little bit left or right diagonally. So, yes, mm, it's moving a little bit slow when you get a lot of things online at the same time. And this does have guys on horseback, which Outlaw did not. So it's much better than that. Desperado has got a sequel called Desperado 2, so hopefully that's a little bit better. But yeah, so far, not really that impressed by it, but it's better than the other attempt, Outlaw, that I looked at at Gunsmoke. If you've got a favourite Gunsmoke conversion, let me know, because they probably haven't come to it looking at these two. There's a mean guy on the right. Outlaw, you had to destroy four people, um, but you did get the names of them each time. I don't know what the name of, is of this fella. Make sure you make your own firing noises. You can hear them a little bit, but it's not overly loud. Here we go, into the wild west. Do 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 That's a little bit of music you might recognise if you're into westerns, which I am, big style E. From the I think it's either the good, the bad, the ugly, fistful of dollars or a few dollars more. Um, but I've got, I've got them all on DVD anyway. Unforgiven's another good one. I do like a good Western. But meaning to buy Django on a Blu-ray. A lot of people don't like that one, but I think that's cool as well. Haven't seen The Magnificent Seven yet, the remake. I've heard that's not very good, so I might avoid that one. So here we go. I don't know who this guy's name is, but it's not Django. It's the guy with no name. Or it might be Blondie Clint Eastwood. Yeah, take that, you. Do 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 da la 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 spaghetti westerns because they was by an Italian producer they didn't have spaghetti in them. We're going to get to the outlaw at the end, so that's going to be exciting. But I just don't know how long the stage is going to be. Very very tricky for the newbie. These reviews are reflective of what your first or second go would have been like, and would you have come back? Despite it's flawed in a few ways, I think I would have come back. It's just a tad too slow for me. But I would have come back because there's no other like sort of like westerns. I always mention the Wild Bunch as my favourite western game on the Spectrum. Uh, West Bank isn't too bad, but they're nothing like this. Uh, the Wild Bunch is a sort of like a well, an action text adventure type thing, really. Right, let's take out Ursa Zod and Non. So there's cowboys with large hats. What is this guy? They could be a wrestler or someone. They, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, is it, are they on horseback or are they on a dragon? But we've killed them both. The body count is going high. We're not going to shoot some no good blacksmith because there isn't any. Try and recognise these buildings as we go past. Is there a saloon or other shops? Yes. Is there an arcade? Right. So you do get a lot on the screen at the same time. It does slow down ever so slightly when you get about four or five people. But it isn't shining. It. It's going for it. Occasionally you might see a star to the left or right that turns up and we will shoot that. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, when someone comes at you from behind, I don't think you've got too much chance here. Right. Watch these bombs. There might be some power you can pick up. Now, watch this guy's just come up from behind. Now, he's a problem. He's only got a touch me. Oh, no, I did dwell there. Okay, so you need to back him into the right position. 
bullets are a bit slow. I would like the bullets to be a different colour. Maybe if they was just um, complete black, you might be able to see them a bit better, a bit like the bombs. But now they're yellow encircled in like a, a square. Yeah. Anyway, off we go. We've got infinite lives, as you might have spotted by this point. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right, take that you. Take that everyone. It looks a little bit like um occasionally this guy walking up. It looks occasionally like a bit like Saber Wolf when he goes when he goes sort of like uh, diagonally. There's another star over there. There's no sheriff in this town, it's running a mock. It's controlled by the mob and we must uh, control well, we must rescue everything. So Gunsmoke, if you play Gunsmoke, I haven't, but I've seen it running. That was in nineteen eighty five. So this is only two years after by Toposoft, they're a, a Spanish outfit. I've got instructions of this, but they are all in Spanish. But fortunately it's one of those games where you don't really need the instructions, you can just play straight away. So there might there might be some element I'm missing. Um Outlaw, you fire dustbins to get power ups of your weapons. Can't see too much going on that on that here. Maybe that's in Desperado 2, which is on the list to cover also. So they might have built on this. 1987, it's alright for that sort of era, I suppose. Um, the graphics are good, uh, it would look quite impressive from the screenshots. Um, I do like that you see the vigilante you're after there on the right, so let the child's imagination do the rest. Good stuff, yeah. But uh, as, a, as an adult, yeah, I suppose as an example of the game it's okay. I can't be too cruel on this. It's got a lot of good points to it, just a tad too slow for me, but that's been super, super overly critical. But look, it looks absolutely gorgeous. The, these backgrounds are good. There's no colour clash on the backgrounds. There's a little bit of water there. You see the enemy can't go in that water, so that's programmed well. I think he might be stuck on the side there. Let's go around here. Uh, the, the guy's on the horseback. That's a nice touch too. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hmm. Okay, so it would have taken quite a bit of skill of this game, and I think as a kid, I think I would have persevered with it, you know. I think I would have done. Uh, it's not as good as Commando, but I can I compare all these games with Commando, these vertical scrollers. But Commando, yeah, that that's the definitive. It adds speed, it was a great conversion. That's uh, by Elite Software, that was, and I, I even like that better than the Amiga version. Possibly I'm biased, because that's the first one I play, but it's quite good. You do get games like that, don't you, that you, you prefer on 8-bit than 16-bit. I think as well as, for me being an average game player, the, the gunfire had a longer range on Commando. This one, it just seems to go completely up the screen, so it hasn't got a range. Uh, the bullets come at you um, seem to be forever. Uh, the guys are slightly bigger that you're shooting there, a bit more descriptive, about one or two. So there's, there's, the, there's the Ursa Zod man, isn't there, the non-man, uh, the guy on horseback and the guy with the large hat. And it's just it's just them three at the moment. I presume, which I'm trying to get a bit excited about, the end boss is maybe a little bit bigger. Hopefully he's got an energy bar so we knock that down, but we get 2,000 reward for him. So that would be the start of the thing. But yeah, doing this with three lives, need a little bit of skill. I'm sure you'd get used to it eventually, the, the way the waves the people come at you and how to manoeuvre them in the right position. But it's the, it's the guys that come from behind, it's just super tricky. Super tricky. I think we might get a super weapon if we actually shoot that star, you know, which I keep running into instead and dying. That's probably the best way of doing it. And he's dead. He not only got shot by the bullet, it went through him and out to the other side. Down, 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 down. I don't think it's nice you laughing. Da -da 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 -da. You're gonna pull those pistols or whistle Dixie. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 when you come to shoot, just shoot, don't talk, or something like that. Right, do watch those movies, they love it. I want to watch them straight away. Clint Eastwood was great. Some people prefer John Wayne, but for me, Clint Eastwood was the man. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. The man with no name in the fistful of dollars and a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. I think he played a character called Blondie, but essentially it was the same guy. So you could call it, you could call it a trilogy. He was so quick on the trigger, that Americano. Right. Oh man, this level's going on forever. The level's a little bit long. That's that's one criticism. It's just going on forever and ever. Is that the Undertaker or the Blacksmith or it's a guy with a big hat that's now dead? Hmm, I don't know whereabouts in America this is, but I'm presuming it's around about 1880 or somewhere around about that. Gunsmoke was such a great name, but Desperado's not a bad name either. Outlaw's not a bad name. I don't know what else you could have called these sort of ones. Right, let me throw. I just want to find the boss now and then we'll escape. We've been playing this, we've been playing this nine, ten minutes. Oh, he dies again. 
Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Dead then. What film was that? Was that Robocop? Possibly. Right, when he attacked Clarence Bodiger. This guy's got an interesting walk, doesn't he? I, I think he would have been better on horseback, this fella. He could have just rode through at super speed. Would have been good if they had, like, um, one part of it that suddenly went horizontal, not just the whole lot um, vertical. That's minor criticism, but screenshots, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, the separate the green from the yellow. Really nice looking game. Lacks gameplay ever so slightly, so I knock a few points off for that. But as I said, hopefully that's corrected in the sequel, which we'll probably come to in a couple of weeks' time. Hmm. Right. I don't know if this came out on the Commodore Amiga. It might be worth tracking down. Don't think. Perhaps it didn't. Is there any Gunsmoke clones for the Commodore Amiga? They must be. Let me know in the comments section below. I haven't run across them as of yet, but that'd be quite interesting to have a look at. That could be quite good fun. Oh, here we go. It's Paul's then. There we go. So there's the there's the big boss man with a massive head. And I've died. Right, he hasn't got an energy bolt. So I, oh no, don't say this is resetting and starting again each time. Do you know something? I think this just might... If I can take out all these goons, but I think when you get killed, it just resets right back from the beginning again. So you might have to try and kill him all in one go. Oh no. I mean, this is much better than Outlaw, the end of level boss anyway, because it just tended to stay in one place and fired axes at you. This, they're moving about, so it definitely feels like end of level. Oh man, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, you know. I just wanted to get to the end of level one. Well, we have got to the end of level one. I just wanted to complete level one, that's what I meant. Oh man. I should have done what they did in the Good, the Bad, the Ugly, or one of them, and I just should have put some slate up my jumper, um, or my poncho, so all the bullets would bounce off. I think Ramon. Hit the heart, Ramon. Uh, if you haven't seen that film, you don't know what I'm going on about. Right, we'll give him a, we'll give him a bit more paste in. I'll just stay here. Hopefully, I'll get some bullets here. What's the height for this bloke? He's he's taller than a tower crane. He's got his back to me. Bullets in the back. Probably. I don't think he's human. This fellow looks like some big alien. I'd have had nightmares of this back in the day as a kid. Come on, just die, fella. I'm, oh, I was surviving a bit, and I got a bullet in the hat. That's my weak point. It's going to reset again. I might have to just end the review in a moment because I don't think this guy dies. Guy's going to die any time. Oh, there we go. I think he's died. Having said that, all his goons have disappeared. Is he dead? Is he dead? There he is in these bright colours. He's dead. Nick does it again, and he only it only cost him 862 billion lives. That's an exaggeration. It was only 82 billion. Hooray! Right. So we'll just have a brief look. Oh, it's going to load, is it? I'll edit this. We'll just have a brief look at what level 2 looks like. It's probably going to play exactly the same. Who's the baddie we've got to attack? It's this woman. We don't know her name, but we want her dead or alive. Is it Sheena Easton? It might be. You got the look. You got the look. It might be her. Right, and the level's the same. Okay. So, yeah, it was an okay game. Um, you know, it just lacks a little bit for me, but it isn't bad. I would have played it quite a bit back in the day. So, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was the uh, wonderful-looking Desperado, although not brilliantly playing, um, on the ZX Spectrum, published by Toppersoft in 1987, based on the arcade uh, cabinet Gunsmoke by Capcom in 85. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than, more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond. Goodbye. Goodbye.